All right, so week three was a crazy week, man. Uh, so many upsets. I'm so glad it's over. Woo! Let me get this out of the way. <laughs> da Bears! We beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. And to be honest with you, I didn't quite see it going no. that way. But damn, did we get the job done. Shout upset. out to Jordan Howard, who went off Terry Cohen. And, uh, yeah. you know, don't get me started about Marcus Cooper. I, I about... I about fucking lost it. We were there at the game. We were at the game, and me, everybody me, was getting pissed. Me being there <laughs> gave the Chicago Bears a win. Yeah, we'll go with that. But uh, other <laughs> upsets that happened, I mean, the Jets oh my absolutely God. destroying the Miami Dolphins. I did not see that happening. I, nobody. If, I don't know who saw that coming. Uh, what about the Bills beating the Broncos? How the fuck did the Broncos kick y'all's ass, the Cowboys, and then lose to the Bills? I don't know. I don't. What happened in the no-fly zone? I mean, and then the Jacksonville Jaguars absolutely shut oh down the Ravens God. in London. Massacre. Ravens didn't didn't even have a shot. I mean, oh. Joe Flacco, 28 yards yeah. uh, passing. Uh, the mm-hmm. Saints also defeated the uh, Panthers, who just yeah. absolutely garbage. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, one of the biggest upsets. Yes, Raiders got lost to the fucking Redskins. What the hell? I mean, the Raiders, nobody got anything going. No. I mean, Marshawn Lynch, nothing. Mari Cooper, nothing. Crabtree, nothing. The only one who did anything good was Jared Cook. Jared Cook was the only one. It was just a shitty day for the Raiders. They, I picked them to be in the AFC Championship game, but if they keep playing like that, they, I don't know. All right, so yeah, I mean, me and you overall, we, yeah. had, we had the same games oh, picked. Oh, God, eight and eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it was a rough week. But rough you know week. what? Week three, our top three, uh, our top week three uh, leaders, uh, these guys did very well. Yeah. Our number Shout one, out to them. number one was B Boy, the best of the best, with 13 games correct. And, uh, and number with- two was Brazilian Neymar, one. One one eight one with twelve wins. Blister, Falcons Fury, Odds Maker, and Venocity all wow. with eleven games wow. correct. Shout Props out to our boy. To them, man. Yeah, shout wow. out to you guys and our boy about Falcons Fury. Yes, yeah. fellow YouTuber. Yep. Are who are top overall leaders so far through uh, all yes. three weeks? So obviously some familiar names. B boy, the best of the best with thirty four total so far. And then Brazilian, what's his name? Brazilian Neymar one 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 eight one. With 34, <laughs> Killer B with 34, Fighting yep. Stallions with 34, wow. okay. and then Ethan it, Ethan Oliveira with 33. Yeah. So guys, you guys are our top three, I mean our top week three performers <laughs> and our top overall performers yep. so far in Pick'em. And Sean, if people will still want to play us, what do they got to do? All you got to do is go to ESPN and join our Pick'em. It's Sports Fury Pick'em on ESPN. Search it. We're the only ones named Sports Fury on there. The information will be down below in the description. Our password is Love Fury. One word. That's all you got to enter in, and we're good to go. But that does it for a crazy week three. It's a little, it was a little bittersweet. I mean, the fact yeah. that uh, you're watching the games and so many games are just going I just oh, haywire, right? You don't know what's happening. It makes it for yeah. a very exciting, fun uh, you know, yeah. weekend. However, it kind of fucked us on our, pe- <laughs> oh, our, our pick-ups. But let's pick, it, let's pick it back up this week. Yeah, all right? Let's get back on track. So let's get right into let's week go. four, guys. And we start right. off. With Thursday night football, Green Bay Packers Ooh. at home playing the Bears. Uh-oh. Now, Sean, you started off. Who do you got this Thursday night? Who you got? <sighs> well, I pick y'all, your Bears, to come back down to earth and lose. So it's in Green Bay. It's in Lambeau Field, and I'm sorry, your Bears don't. Not, they look good at home. They almost, they almost beat the Falcons. They did beat the Steelers, but y'all look horrible on the road against the Bucks. And you know what? I think y'all are going to be horrible on the road against the Packers. Well, you know what? Packers winning. We we always look terrible in Tampa. So that's a that's just a history lesson for you there. But you know what though? The Green the Green Bay Packers, should they win this game? Are they are they favored to win this game? Yeah. Of course. They got a really good team, right? And the Chicago Bears, you know, we're in mm-hmm. our rebuilding mm-hmm. stage. But uh, but you know what? Like I keep praising and fucking preaching. We are so underrated offensively, defensively. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on real quick. I need to put on my bears. Oh, Lord. I need to. Where did this come from? <sighs> Hold on, Sean. Green Bay Packers versus the da- versus the Chicago Bears. <laughs> da Bears! Yep. Thursday night football. I am going to pick the Bears! 
to oh, beat the shit. Packers. Who saw that coming? I'm picking the I'm picking the fucking Chicago Bears. Okay. The, we're gonna fucking beat the Green Bay Packers this coming up Sunday. It's not gonna happen. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna be live streaming for that game. You got work. How does that feel? I'm going to be working. How does that feel? I'm going to be wearing my hat at work. Yeah. I'm going to be wearing the Ditka jersey. Oh, Lord. And with it, we can't <laughs> lose. We're going to beat the Green Bay Packers. We're going to come up with another Not gonna up happen. set win. No. Jordan Howard, Cohen, the human joystick. No. Uh, our defensive line is really damn good. Akeem Hicks, we're going to put pressure on no. Aaron Rodgers. And we're going to get the job done in Lambeau Field. The Bears Suck. with the upset <laughs> win. This is my upset pick of the week, Sean. It's not going to happen, buddy. And what and what better way to do it than on Thursday night? The You know, the Green Bay Packers, they didn't look very good against the no, Cincinnati Bengals. They really didn't. They, um, they could have lost that game. But they came back, though. And the Chicago Bears, look what we did against the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Killer Beast. Can we do that against hey, Aaron hey. Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers? I think we could. If this past week three proved anything, anything could happen. But not this week. On Thursday Night Football, give me the Bears to beat the Packers. Give me Packers. All right, Sean. All right, let's move that on. That takes care of Thursday Night Football. Yeah, put that shit away. All right, so our next game, we're going <laughs> back to London. Oh, shit, another London game. Oh, Saints versus Dolphins. Oh, shit. Who you got winning this one? You know what? This was a little bit tough, right? Because the Saints offense look like they're back. Yeah. All right, Dolphins. They uh, their offense looked great week uh, week two, but then week three they they disappeared. Well, here's the thing though, uh, you know, and some people have made this point. You know, do the Dolphins rely too much on Jay Ajay? Jay Ajay did not get anything going in yeah. week three, and that, that's that's true. I think this offense will go as far as Jay Ajay goes. But guess what? He's playing the Saints. You know, now he's last got week, a good matchup. Now last week I said the Panthers <clears throat> were going to take advantage of that weak defense yep. and do something with it, but they, they didn't. didn't. They did not take advantage. So of it. you're saying the Dolphins can do this against yes. the Saints, and they and will. I absolutely agree with the it. Dolphins win because you know what? Give me Jay Ajay, yep. Jarvis Landry, Devonte Parker, <laughs> Kenny Stills, <laughs> Julius Thomas, oh, Jay I'll Cutler, that, that Adam Gase system. I got the Dolphins beating the Saints. Across the pond, yeah, in the UK. You know what? I could see this easily being an offensive shootout, right? I mean, well, Michael Thomas so. and Drew Brees. You know, I would say this past couple of weeks they're getting that chemistry going in here. Yeah. Uh, Michael Thomas uh, got a touchdown in week yeah. three. Yeah. And uh, you know what though? I think the Saints need to feature a lot more of Alvin Kamara. Hey, that, in both, every week he's getting more and more touches. Not, not just touches, in get him involved more in the passing game yeah. too. And hey, let's not forget they're getting Willie Sneed back. Willie Sneed, Willie is Sneed's back. back. That's another weapon Drew Brees loves. Yeah, so it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for that game. But I'm going Dolphins. I'm going Dolphins. All right, we're we're in agreement there. Oh god. All right, Sean. The next game is a divisional game. It's Titans at Texans. Mm, man, Titans versus Texans. Now the Titans they had Ooh. a huge win they, against the Seahawks in yep. Week Three. Now they're mm-hmm. playing against the Texans. On the yep. road. Titans beat the Seahawks. That was a great fucking game. Texans. They almost they beat the fucking almost beat the Patriots. Patriots. So what Ooh. do you got winning this one? I, personally, I'm sticking with the Titans. I am one. too. I think the Titans have one of the best offenses. I think they're top five right now. They're uh, getting... Marcus, Mar- Mariota looked like he's good. Yeah, he, 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 he's looking like he's getting more comfortable yeah. with his receivers. Because remember, these receivers, for the most part, yeah. are new. A lot new, uh, yeah. Er- uh, you know, Eric Decker, they got to get him more involved, though. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, and Delaney Walker, he didn't do all that much in Week 3. But he still did okay. Yeah. But Rashard Matthews Richard is Matthews, looking he's like their, a monster. He's their number one receiver right now. Yeah, and I'm liking it. I'm loving their offense. They're finally getting go- going. DeMarco Murray looked like he's back, right? Yeah. He broke that big run. But, He's looking good. And yeah, DeMarco Murray, he yeah, he looked good. Derrick Henry. I'm going to take the Titans uh, in this Hands one. Down. But yeah. the, but it's going to be a really good game because the Houston Texans, man, if they could take it to New England, they could yeah. take it to anybody. Yeah, no, they can. And uh, Deshaun Watson's going to make this a game. And This, this is, isn't going to be a blowout. And this and this Texas team is a team that's going to get better and better. Deshaun yeah. Watson looked great yeah. against the Patriots. Every week he's looked better and better. And he's and I love look how, better even this And week. I love how ever since he stepped in, uh, he's been feeding Hopkins. Yes, feed him. Even if it's not complete, he's still throwing him the ball. Even if he, if they if it's an incomplete pass, I love the opportunity. So I'm gonna be honest. This was a tough one for me to call. Yeah. 
and I'm going to go with Titans on a road win. Same here. Same here. All right, next game, Sean, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm sorry, Woo. the Saxonville Jaguars <laughs> going up against the New York Jets. Ah, so... Sean, are we going to see the Jets pull off another upset here? Hell no! The Jacksonville Jaguars, <laughs> they're going to take care of the Jets at MetLife Stadium. Are oh. you kidding me? This oh. defense... Oh, I'm sorry. They're looking, like, they're looking like the best defense oh. in the league. This, Dude, this yes, is a team... Know. I mean, they're front seven. They're secondary. Give me a break hey, with New York Jets. You know what? I really, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Uh, Jacksonville is going to win this game. And you know what's interesting? Is we have two fellow YouTubers... Both of them, their teams are playing right now. Oh, you talking Jets about UCF Central Jaguar? And UCF Jaguar. How, I want to see some shit talk between them. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? The Jaguars are going to win this, and I think they're going to win it easily. Especially with Blake Bortles. I mean, you it's know. Awesome. He doesn't turn over the goddamn ball. He looked great against Baltimore. Oh, and, shit. I mean, so can he continue that? Like we said, as long as he doesn't, Jeez, as long as he turn, doesn't turn over the ball and fuck it up. Then Jaguars could be fine. A they, lot of games. They can beat anybody. But if Blake Bortles can play to a higher level, yeah, that just makes the Jacksonville Jaguars even more scarier. Yeah. And again, you don't have to be all that scary going up against Jets. I know they no. just beat the Dol the Dolphins. Yeah. But Jacksonville Jaguars is a whole other monster. Yeah, and Jacksonville has a defense to back up themselves. Like Miami Dolphins don't really have a defense to back them up like the Jags do. <laughs> yep. So yeah. All right. So yeah, we both got the Jaguars winning this one. Yep. All right. Next game, Panthers. <laughs> on the road, going up against the Patriots. New England Patriots. Sean, is, is there me, much to talk about? Let here? me tell you something. If the Panthers could not get it done against the New Orleans Saints, don't I'm not taking them against the New England Patriots. Not at all. Not uh, no chance in they hell. Can't, they can't keep up with the Patriots. The Patriots have the number one offense. And did you see Brandon Cooks go off finally? Finally. So, Brandon, give me Brandon Cooks, the yeah. who finally seems to have this chemistry going with uh, Tom Brady, Gronkowski. He's still healthy. Man, I'm taking New yeah. England all day long I, this one. This could be a massacre by the Patriots. I, I know the Patriots' defense isn't that great, but Cam they Newton have, just does not look good. What do they have, a nine-and-a-half spread? It's nine-point spread. I think and they're going to cover it. Yeah. They're oh, cover hands it. down, it's going to be a, he's at least a two-score game. All right, this next game was a tough one. Yeah. Divisional game. Oh. NFC North, black Ooh. and blue division, Detroit Ooh. Lions going on the road against the Minnesota Vikings. And U.S. Bank Stadium. Oh, my God. This one. This one was I'm tough. going back and forth. Detroit Lions, they look really good this year. A lot more they impressive. Had, yep. They had a controversial loss yes. against the Atlanta Falcons. Wow. They almost beat the Falcons in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, 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 no. That was in Detroit. That was in Detroit? Okay. That was in Detroit. My, my bad, my bad. That was in Detroit. Right. But they almost fucking beat the Atlanta Falcons. They almost did. I didn't think they had a... I, I mean, I, you didn't think they had a chance? <laughs> no, not I knew, really. I knew they were. it would be close, but I didn't think it would literally be that close. An inch away. <laughs> literally. And then they had that controversial call there at yeah. the end that brought oh, it back. Oh, you hate to lose like that. You now, do. the Lions, they're probably going to go into this road pissed off and hungry. They are. But they're going up against a Minnesota Viking team that, surprisingly, I mean, you know, going to the season, we're all talking about their defense, defense, defense. Yeah. Their offense is a top five offense, dude. Yeah. They their are. offense is fucking good. Yeah. Dalvin Cook. Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Thielen. Jarius Wright. And how about Case Keenum stepping up in week three? Yeah. Going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And taking care of business. But Down see, the field. But Detroit Lions got a better defense than the Tampa Bay oh, Bucs. Oh, and a lot better than people realize. If you make Matt Ryan, the MVP of last year, throw three picks on you, that's pretty damn good. A lot better than people think. Now, here's the thing. The Minnesota Vikings, yeah. their defense needs to step up more. Yeah. They're not as good. They're, they, they so far haven't performed as good yeah. as I, they, they should be. Oh, hands down. And yeah. uh, I think they eventually will. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the Vikings here at home. Wow. I'm going. I'm, I'm going. I'm going with the Vikings. Dalvin Cook. This is a guy. I mean, he's right. Behind, I would say he's right okay. behind Kareem Hunt for Rookie of the Year oh, yeah. so far. So far, yeah. And so I agree. I'm, I agree. I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings oh, here. Oh man, home. I can't believe it, man. I don't <sighs> know if tough for you. And this, this they're was both division rivals. And this of your Bears. I mean, this was. Such, I mean, a tough fucking yeah. call. And, and and I bet I bet I bet the yeah. line between these two teams. Oh, it's, I, I bet uh, you it's a, it's probably there's probably like, no line. It's probably a push. It's a push. But you know what? Lions, I think, are going to pull this out. It's on the road, yes, but the Lions are going to come what, in here pissed off. What do the Lions, Lions got to do to get a win here? 
All the Lions got to do is they got to put up points. And, and let now, not to take away what Case Keenum has done. Case Keenum did something we never thought would be possible. He fucking torched a defense, right? But let's think about what defense that was. That was Tampa Bay. So I'm not going to put too much credit on it. Tampa Bay had a lot of starters out. So I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. This defense is going is better than what they faced against Tampa. I say Lions are going to pick him off at least twice. Dalvin Cook's still going to have a good game because he's he's still Detroit he's a Lions, monster. They picked off at, uh, Matt Ryan three times, three fucking times. Why can't they pick Case Keenum off that many times? They could. I say Lions take care of business. They're pissed off. They don't think they should have lost last game, even though according to the rules they did. But the Minnesota Vikings could, they're gonna could take just as easily pick off fucking Matthew Stafford. Yeah, but Matthew Stafford's playing great this whole year. Right. He's been playing phenomenal. One of the best consistently quarterbacks. And they haven't even had a really a consistent run game. He's still taking care of business. Give me the purple people eaters here at home. Oh, God, you're you just to, don't like the Lions. You're going, you're going Lions, you huh? You hate the Lions. <laughs> you do, don't you? <laughs> I got the Lions winning. Let's go. I, I want I want the Lions to lose every single game from here on out. Okay. So that way they can that so that way we can fire and uh, uh okay. we can fire John Fox and, mm-hmm. and and Jim Bob Cooter can be our head coach. That's what I want to happen. Ah, okay. 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 All right. Okay. Next game, Sean. <laughs> Bills at Falcons. Oh. Please don't tell me you got the Bills upsetting the Falcons no, and they no, did no, 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 no. Uh, the Broncos. It, we're coming back to reality here. Bills are not going to be able to upset the Falcons. No. Not It's at Atlanta. So, yeah, Falcons what are going to talk about. Falcons are going to come into this game and they are going to destroy the yeah. Bills. But uh, don't I, you I, fucking say it. Wait, wait. I said destroy, but you know what? I got to be honest. The Bills defense looks a lot better than I yeah. than I thought at all it was, was going to be. I thought going they were a little year. overrated because they played some shitty teams the first few weeks, you know, in the Jets and the Panthers. But you know what? They took care of – they did. They didn't do that great against Denver. Denver still put up 30 points. But the, uh, Bill's offense impressed me by keeping up with the Bills. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Broncos. Against the Broncos, fucking no-fly zone. Right, okay. So that's why I'm a little impressed by – we're gonna see, but I think Falcons take care of business in Atlanta. This is where this is gonna be Julio jo- Julio Jones's best game. Oh, they better get him involved. They said they're gonna get more involved in the red zone, and I hope so. All right, man, another divisional game: oh. Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> they just lost oh, to God. the Bears, and oh, they're wow. going on the road playing Baltimore. against the Baltimore Ravens, who just got their asses handed to them by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow. Who do you got, Josh? Dude, you know what? I both of these teams, both of these teams. Are gonna go into this game, yeah. pissed the fuck. They better off. They better. Okay? This is this, and and they've already had great games before. This is the yeah. divisional game. Oh, this is gonna be a good game to you watch. Remember the playoff game last year right. between these guys? Oh, wow. This is gonna be a good game to watch. And yeah. you know what? Give me the team that has a pissed off Big Ben, mm-hmm. even though he kind of plays shitty on the road, right? Yeah. Uh, Antonio Brown, Martavius Bryant, and uh, Le- uh, Le'Veon Bell. Okay. I, I, I can't argue with that. But. And the Pittsburgh defense, they are a top five defense. But not against the run. And you know who runs the ball really well? That's all they got. Baltimore Ravens. That's the all they have. But they're very. What? But guess what? They're one dimensional. That's all you need to keep another offense off the field. And you know what? I'm picking Baltimore Ravens. Because of the simple fact of what Josh just said. Big Ben sucks on the road. We saw it firsthand. This past week, he was overthrowing guys. He was throwing horrible passes. Wide open, Martavis Bryant. Overthrew him. Martavis Bryant's a fucking six foot five. I don't know how fucking tall that motherfucker is. But Big Ben sucks on the road. Baltimore has the type of offense that can keep the Steelers' offense off the field. Run the ball. Control the clock. They're going to win this game at home. If Blake motherfucking Bortles can throw all those touchdowns. That was in London. If he, it's if, a different story. I this is in Baltimore. Baltimore. If Blake Bortles can throw those touchdowns, Big Ben can too, even if he plays shitty on the road. And you know what? That Steelers defense is looking for real. I'm going Steelers, defeating the Baltimore Ravens. On the road. The Steelers, they want to get that stench off. They, they Baltimore want to get, is going to have almost 200 yards rushing. They want to get that stench off. We're like, we suck on the road. They want to do away with that, and they're going to do it and right they here. they should have done it against your Bears. But we're too damn good. <laughs> All right, going to the next game. Another divisional game. The oh! Cincinnati Bengals, Bengals on the road Browns. against the Cleveland Browns. Oh, hope, wait, wait. These Both these teams are winless. Yes, and guess who's going to get the first win? Who? Cincinnati Bengals. Oh. And let me tell you why. Oh. Because Hugh Jackson refuses oh. to use Isaiah Crowell in the way he needs to be used. Okay. And you know what? 
I'm sorry, but the Cincinnati Bengals, they almost beat the Green Bay Packers, okay. and they're going to go here on the road in Cleveland. Okay. And I think with them firing their offensive coordinator, yeah, I think they turned a page here, and they're going to get a win. You know what? They're going to get their first win against Cleveland. This was actually a very tough game for me to pick. Really? I was going back and forth. I picked the Bengals at first. I did. I said, you know what? That that whole offense coordinator Whoa. did really well. Oh, hold on. Let me finish. But you know what? He did really well. 21 points the first half. But guess what? In the second half of the Green Bay game, he only put up three points. What that shows me is that he couldn't make adjustments. And, and that scares me. Because guess what? Hugh Jackson... The coach of the Browns used to be the offense coordinator for the Bengals. He knows that team very well. And guess what? Browns are going to win this game. Oh, wow. Browns are going to get their first win before the Bengals do. (laughs) You heard it here first. I'm not giving up yet on the Browns to get their win. They're getting it this week. They should have got it last week against the Colts. They fucked up. Okay? Jacoby Brissett is apparently God. But... (laughs) The Browns are winning this game at home. Bengals, I'm, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a fucking close one. But Browns pulled out. I'm going Bengals all the way in this game. All right, we'll Sean. See. Yeah, hell yeah, we're going to see. I, I'm glad we're quite different in some of these picks. Too. You know? I'm glad. So, I so that way you I, can, you know, I can distance myself with yeah. you and pick them. Oh, yeah, yeah. All sure. right, because we're tied. We're completely, right, we we're, really? we're dead tied. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, going into this next game, Sean, yeah. Rams on the road at the AT&T Stadium uh-huh. in Arlington, not Dallas, not actual Dallas, Cowboys. Who you got? <laughs> you already know. My Cowboys are going to pull this game out at home. We look back against the Cardinals. Dak said, fuck all our haters. I am the real deal. Zeke is back. And look, first off, let's think about this. Rams defense, I thought, were amazing after week one. But then the 49ers almost came back and beat them. The 49ers. And Carlos Hyde ran all over them. Zeke is better than Carlos Hyde. He's going to have over 100 yards again. The, the Rams, have a, they still have a great defense. The second half of that Thursday night football game, I don't know what the hell happened there. Maybe they got complacent. Maybe they just thought this game was a lock. I don't know what happened. But let me tell you something about the Dallas Cowboys. Offensively, they kind of fucking, they're, they, I don't think they're there yet. They haven't looked like the Dallas Cowboys offense no. of last year. Yeah, that, Arizona, right. that That Monday night football win you guys had against the Arizona Cardinals, for the most part of that game, yeah. it looked like the, Car- the Cardinals might upset you guys. Yeah, in the first quarter and a half. Larry was killing you. Yeah, and I knew they would. We had injuries, but guess what? I think we're going to have those guys back. Jared Goff, Sammy Watkins, Cooper Cup, yeah. Todd Gurley. Yeah. They could do some damage against that defense. I think Todd defense. Gurley's definitely going to do some damage against my Cowboys. I admit it. He will. I'm going to go. I don't God damn it. I'm going to pick the Dallas Cowboys getting a win here, but I'll tell you this. You're a smart guy. I do it with a nasty taste in my mouth. Because oh, we won't disappoint you. The Dallas Cowboys have not looked all oh, that. We'll leave good. a good taste in your mouth, Josh. Don't worry about that. Oh, that's disgusting, and I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> all right, going into our next game. <laughs> Holy How shit. about them Cowboys? We're talking about a tough match. Let's that's go. Hard to call here. Yes. The Philadelphia Eagles are going on the road to yes. uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did you what say a tough? Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. Well, let me say this. Okay. 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 Let's finish. All right, so they're going to Los Angeles and they're playing that little soccer stadium, whatever. Yep. What's it? What's it called? Stuff uh, The Pornhub Stadium. Stuff Hub. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're going on yeah. there, and the the spread in this game is one point favor wow. of the Chargers. Why? <laughs> because here's what's going to be tough about this game. Okay. What? What's the? The Philadelphia Eagles. They um, they could if it wasn't for a 61 yard field goal, they were going to lose that fucking game. Yeah. Against the Giants, okay? Yeah. And I thought they were going to destroy the Giants. Hey, they were destroying them. <laughs> they let off the pedal and let the uh, Giants come back. Ugh, I, I, that, I, I shouldn't have been that way. It shouldn't have. And now, now the Chargers, we were high on the Chargers. Yes. And, they, and they still got a whole lot of talent over there. I know they lost the <sighs> for the year. They lost two offensive linemen. I know, they got, some, I know they got out. some. Oh, God. Yeah, I know they got some injuries over there. No. But they still got a, a talented team. They yeah. got a team that still has Phillip Rivers, Melvin Gordon in the backfield. Yeah. They got Keenan Allen, Allen, who's still healthy. Hey, Thank goodness. Hey, on their bench, they are their defense. I'm sorry, they have Joey Bosa still there. Right. Um, Melvin Ingram. 
Yeah. Uh, they got some good guys over there. So, yeah. Chargers. So, this has trap game written all over it, and that's what Vegas is looking at. That's why That's why the spread is the way it is. Okay. Even though the, the Eagles look damn good, yeah. right? And the Chargers are winless. Yeah. This has got a trap game written all over it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to fall for it. I'm going to go with the Eagles. I'm I going Eagles on the road. What really puts it over the edge for me is that I think the Chargers can take advantage of the the corners of the Eagles kind of they back off a little bit too much for me, right? And they play a little bit too conservative. You gotta play especially with Keenan Allen, you gotta be in his grill. You cannot let him catch the ball and get going. Or Travis Benjamin a lot alone. But the Eagles D line is going to murder the Chargers offense line. They have no pass protection for Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers is gonna be He's gonna get sacked four times. This dude is not gonna have room to breathe no. in this game. Not at all. And Melvin Gord is gonna have to have the game of his life. This yeah. game's gonna be even close, I yeah. think. And uh and yeah, they got Joey Bosa on that D line and everything, but Eagles have a pretty good all line. Eagles all yeah, Eagles all line is they, fucking they're solid, top, dude. Top three O line in the league. And guess what? Here's another thing. That impressed me about the Eagles on week three. Yeah. They're running the ball, Sean. Oh, my God. They're running the ball they, with Bunch. Did they actually? He got a carry? Now, da- now Darren Sproles did get hurt. Oh, yeah. That but sucks. I like Wendell Smallwood. Yes. He showed and some talent. If flashes. the Eagles are going to actually start running the damn ball. Yeah. Hey. Hey, they got a chance. Some balance there on the offense. Please. What did you know? Please give the ball to some blunt. So Come I, on. I got the Eagles winning this Same one. Same here. Despite Same the here. fact the Chargers are favored to win. Yep. All right, here's another game, Sean. <sighs> Giants <laughs> on the road against <laughs> the Bucks. Man, Josh, Ooh. I know this one was tough. This was actually a very tough here's one. Why it's, here's why it's tough. I want to say... Bucks are going to win yeah. right here at home. Why? One of my favorite players in the league is Mike, Mike Evans. Evans. Yeah, you, you love got him. Jameis Winston. You want his babies. I, I like Jameis Winston. Yeah. I, Deshaun Jackson, those yeah. Cameron Braid, those tight uh, ends. OJ Howard. OJ Howard, yeah. right? Uh, but you know what? Here's why I'm not going Tampa Bay Bucks. I, I, as much as I want to, Jameis Winston, he has not gotten over that hurdle of a guy who makes too many mistakes. Yep. He takes too many chances. Yeah, that's exactly what happened against the Vikings, and yep. he he screwed up big that's time. True. Now, if you and, and the Vikings, they haven't looked as great as they could be, right? Yeah. Now, if you're if you were taking your chances against the Vikings, you sure as shit can't take your chances against the Giants uh, hey, secondary Landon, at all. Landon Collins will pick nothing. you apart. Yeah, nothing. There is yeah. no room for error against the Giants secondary yeah. with Jameis Winston. Yeah. So, and then the Giants. On the other side of the ball, the Giants, Eli Manning, Odell Beckham looks mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. You got Brandon Marshall, Sterling Shepard looks really good. Yeah. Right? Now, that Tampa Bay defense looked like shit. They looked horrible. It does. They got some they have some injuries. They got some things going on there. And I think the Giants are Eli Manning, I think he's gonna have a solid game here. Odell Beckham's gonna have a great game. And I think the Giants are gonna take a win here. On the road hmm. in Tampa. As okay. much as I wanted to say Tampa was going to win, I'm looking at everything and I'm saying, I got the Giants winning this game. You know what? I'm going Bucks. I, I feel like Bucks at home, they, they're they going to regroup. Jameis Winston's like, all right, I'm at home. I got to entertain our fans. We got to get a win here. They need this win. After what happened last week, Jameis Winston needs to prove himself. And he needs to. I, I, Dirk, I can see Dirk Cutter right now. Right, we saw him in, in, on Hard Knocks, right? I see Dirk Cutter sitting him down like, get your shit together. And Jameis Winston knows it. He admitted he needs to get his shit together. You know what? Against the Giants he defense. He keeps saying that, but when is he going to actually do it? I think this is the game, and I think this is a perfect game. It's a hell of a game to do it. This is a perfect game to do it. It's at home. Giants do have some injuries of their own again on the corners right now. So let's take advantage of that. And I think they're going to do it. I just see this game. It's two um, offenses because mm-hmm. I, I don't. I think, think it's gonna be shootout. Because yeah, because neither neither, be neither team is running the ball right now. No, no, Jack Reese Rogers. No, no all not right? at all. So this is a team that's gonna shoot it out against each other, right? Yeah. And give me the team that has that has OBJ, Sterling Shepard, Brandon Marshall, Evan Ingram. Yeah. Right. Going up against that Tampa defense, as opposed to Jameis Winston, who takes too many risks, going up against that secondary the Giants got. Right. I got the Giants winning. All right. All right. So that was a tough one, guys. That was a tough one. All right, going here. This is not yep. so tough. 49ers nope. on the road against the Cardinals. I got Cardinals winning. Oh, Cardinals, yeah. Cardinals, they look like they're back. Hopefully this stays consistent. Hey, the 49ers did pretty good on Thursday I will night say this. Ball. Yeah, the 49ers, they've looked competitive yeah. in, in, in a couple some of these games. games. Yeah. So, uh, and this might be just like that. 
But I, could be a trap game. But give me the Cardinals. Carson Palmer's yeah. offense looks like it's starting to you know click a Larry little bit. Larry Fitzgerald getting it going. Get man, feed that Larry Fitzgerald. Please, Dude, first Please. ballot Hall of Famer one day. Fucking give it to the, him. The goat. You'll be fine. Give it to him. Their win, hands down. All right, next game, Sean. Another tough one. Oakland Raiders on the road. At uh, man, this one is a tough one. Where do they play? Mile High. It's it's Mile High. I don't know. Sports Authority, Pornhub it's, Stadium. It's not Sports Authority. Uh, I have fucking no clue. For, Broncos. Broncos. Raiders are, oh, at man. Broncos. And you know what, man? I'm gonna go the Denver Broncos here at home. Denver <sighs> Broncos. tough. Denver Broncos running the run game. C.J. Anderson, it's going to bounce back here this week. They got Jamal Charles, who looked really good last week. And then Trevor Simeon, hey, this guy for the most part has looked very impressive. Pretty solid, yeah. Right? Yep. And, and um, hmm. you saw what Kirk Cousins did against uh, against that Raiders defense. And yeah. I, you know what? De- Demarius Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, I, I'm liking this. Yeah. Against the uh, this Denver offense against yeah. the Raiders defense. Now, you know, on the flip ah, side, this though. Is so tough, man. On the flip side. Yeah. Hey, look how shut down the Raiders got, got shut down by the yeah. Redskins. They're going to be against the no-fly zone. Yeah. And now, this one was very tough for me. It was. I actually had the Raiders in the beginning, but I'm actually la- I'm leaning. I picked the Broncos. I switched my pick. I, before we started this video, I had the Raiders. I switched to the Broncos. You're going Broncos. I'm going Broncos. Reason is pretty similar to what you said, right? And, and the, But the main reason is because I know last week, the no-fly zone didn't really look like they were there, right? Buffalo the Bills, Bills right? fucking kept up with them and beat them. And this is and now. Th- now that was that, on the road. That was on the road, and they're gonna come back here exactly. at home, and they're at gonna home. be like, and this is their. That's their stadium. And there's and they and they know they yeah. know who the Raiders are. Yep, they play it's them their twice division. a year. Yeah, it's their so, division rival. Oh, yeah. Akeem Akeem Talib and uh, Michael Crabtree go at it every time they play. I love watching this matchup. I can't wait to watch it on Sunday. And Broncos gonna take care of business. Raiders offensive line needs to step up. Marshawn Lynch get him more than oh, eight carries yeah. uh, uh, in this game. Uh, and then um, you know R- Michael Crabtree and Amari Cooper combined for uh, two receptions. Two receptions, thirteen yards. That no, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah. And you know, so Raiders step it up. Yeah, I think this uh, uh, could be a good game. But I'm gonna get, I'm going with Broncos right I here. I gotta go with Broncos at home with that defense. Defense is better. Yeah. And their and offense. That crowd too. That crowd makes a factor. The defense is better, and offensively, yeah. thus far, the Broncos have been better than the Raiders, yeah. which is crazy because yeah. I would have not thought that. I would have never thought that. But yeah, Broncos. Right. Broncos. Next game, Sean. Sunday night football. Woo. We got the Colts on the road against the Seahawks, mm. and as as impressive as the Seahawks looked yeah. last week. Jacoby Brissett, he looked great, but this is a different story, buddy. This is in Seattle. Yeah. There's only a handful of quarterbacks that me and Josh can think of that can go into Seattle on the road and feel confident, and with. Feel confident and pick them to win. And Brissett's not, not one of them. Brissett, this is only his second year, right? So, no, it's not going to happen. Brissett is going to make plays still with his feet. He's done great, but this defense will swarm you. Michael Bennett, I think, can have a monster game mm-hmm. against Brissett. If you want to keep scrambling the ball, oh, dude. He's going to murder you. Seahawks are going to win this game. It, it should be a blowout. This is a chance for the Seahawks to get another, uh, get a win, and get that confidence built up for your O line, especially and your offense. Yeah, Seahawks. Yeah, both of us. All right, Monday Night Football, Sean. Woo! The Washington Redskins. They played yes. Sunday night last week. They're yeah. on the road here yep. at Arrowhead against the Kansas City Chiefs, who I believe Monday Night Football are the best team in the yes, NFL. I agree. I love the Chiefs. Alex Smith is playing rejuvenated. He's like, fuck this. I'm not being benched again. I'm throwing the ball down the field. Tyreek Hill, oh my God. How about Kareem Hunt, the best running back oh, right now in the NFL? Down. Hands rookie down. of the year so far. Oh, easily. And this guy could break the rookie uh, rookie rushing record. And I think he will. He had 172 yards this last dude, week. They, they keep feeding him, and he yeah. keeps producing. Yes. So This guy is going to go off again. And you know what? I can't wait. Chiefs are going to win. Hands down. Easy. Yeah, the cheat. This is this is already a tough place to play. Yeah, and the, and, the, and Kirk Cousins is Great not going to have anywhere close to the ease no. of play against hey. the Chiefs as he did against the Raiders. Chiefs defense is playing for, even with Eric Berry went going out. Me and you were like, oh, is this going to bring him down a little bit? Not at all. Their defense is still top defense and they're gonna take care of business you know what i can't wait for all these games the thursday night game sunday night monday night we're gonna be streaming for all of them 
I can't wait. Yeah, Sean, you'll be streaming for Thursday Night yep. Football, and they will both be here streaming for Sunday Night and Monday Night Football. All right, so guys, those are our picks of Week 4. Let us know down in the comment section, do you yes. agree, do you disagree, and who do you have winning in Week 4? Last yeah. week, Week 3 was <laughs> insane. Oh, Let's see how Week 4 goes. Yes. I will say this, Sean, Week 4... This was so far the toughest uh, for me to call yeah, as far as there picking was these at games. least four or five of these games that I feel like had gone either and way. And last week, I was so confident in all my picks, <laughs> and they all went to shit. They lost <laughs> all the shit. Also, guys, if you haven't done so already, go follow us on Twitter at the Sports Fury and on at, at Instagram at the Sports Fury. Yep. Right here. It's, it should be like right here. Yeah, right. Be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe right. if you haven't already. What are you doing? And share this with everybody, including your mama. And guys, We'll see how everything works out, yep. and we'll see you week five. Dubbers! Let's go, Cowboys! <laughs>